Welcome to walkowner.com. What I got today in the mail, when I, I got this uh, Helen Chen 12 inch walk, carbon steel walk. And let's take this off here. And the instructions come with it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to season this the way I usually season outside, but I need to wash it first to get all the uh, material off of it. Okay, this is not coming off too easy, so we'll cut this. Let's put a protective covering on it so that it won't rust. So it's important that we get that off. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this carbon steel and I'm going to wash it in soap and water, scrub it down, and then we'll take it outside and we're going to uh, uh, season it. I like this because it's got a uh, flat bottom which is great for electric stoves or uh, even a gas stove or induction heating so let's begin with even a gas stove or induction heating so let's begin with this put some hot water in here I'm going to use some dog soap this handle on here right here is a uh, bamboo handle which I really kind of like so we're going to scrub this down get all the soap off of it. It comes with instructions. Here, uh, let's see. Everything sticks to that plastic. I bought your carbon steel walk. Wow, okay. Not too much going to tell me there. There are instructions on this uh, flyer on the inside that tells you how to season it. But I have my own method of seasoning it, so we're going to use that because I know it works. Let's make life easy. All right, let's scrub this down. You could use any dishwasher or dish uh, soap. I like Dawn because it really gets rid of the grease. And the edges on this uh, wok are not sharp, they're nice and rounded. So a lot of take care has been taken in making this, uh, this particular wok. If there are only two, one or two people in the family or you're cooking for, this is the perfect size. Let's wash this off here on the back. All right. Let's wash her down again. You could do steel wool in here if you wanted to, or. Uh, Put the steel wood with a soap in it. I forgot what they call it. Those uh, pads. All right. I think this will do it for right now. Let me wipe this down. We we'll use a towel and we'll check it out to see how uh, how dry it is. If we got all the oil off of it. All right, looks good. So there you have it. This one was pretty easy, easy to clean. They probably use some type of different coating on here, but easy to get off. It's a Helen Chan again. It's got a nice hook here if you want to hook it up like that with your finger. I don't think you can see that, but there you go. <laughs> uh, nice, 12 inches, perfect size. So I'm going to take it outside now. We'll put it on my wok burner, and we're going to season this. So we'll be right back. All right, I just uh, started up my uh, Bass Pro Shop uh, wok burner. Actually, it's a uh, thing to make fish in it, but it turned out to be perfect for woks. It's very really inexpensive, it's under 50 bucks. And I've used this several times. What I'm going to do now is put my uh, wok right on here, and I'm going to heat it up a little bit. Then I'm going to fill it with water and let it boil for about oh, five to seven minutes and it'll help get all the coating off if there's any residual coating after I washed it. So I'm going to pour this in now. If I don't spill it all over the place. All right, we'll leave it right about there.
going to clean some of this water off here. This uh, wok will turn uh, brown. It should turn brown, if not black, uh, after, by the time I get done. Or it uh, will take a little time to do it. They're all a little bit different. Uh, the reason why we're doing this to season it is so that nothing sticks to it when we cook and also it helps protect the carbon steel which rusts very easily. So we're gonna, we'll be back in a few minutes uh, after it starts to boil. back it looks like it's boiling very very nicely and uh, when I get done boiling it here toss the water out take it back in the kitchen for a minute wash it one more time with uh, soap and water and then I'll bring it out and then be ready to uh, we'll be ready to put the oil in it coat it with oil and then season it the handle is nice and warm yet not hot don't want to burn the handle looks too nice Again, this is a 12-inch Helen Chen, I believe it is, carbon steel wok. And I'm in the process of uh, seasoning it in my favorite method that never fails. So we'll see if uh, how never fails it is. So stay tuned and uh, we'll be back in a few minutes. All right, it looks like it's uh, uh, done boiling here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut the gas off. And then I'm going to uh, take this, dump it out on a snow bank, take the wok in and rewash it. Be right back. Welcome back. I just got done washing it again for the second time and this is what it kind of looks like. It's got a little uh, streaks in here, gray streaks, but I'm not going to worry about that. That's going to all go away and and solve itself. So let's take this over now. Leave that up here. What I'm going to use today is uh, avocado oil to season it. And I'm going to put a real light coating on it with a paper towel. So I've already poured some in a little dish here. So I'm just going to wet it just carefully a little bit. This is cold. And I'm just going to lightly cover the entire pan on the inside. I can't believe at the rim here how nicely they've uh, taken this down so it doesn't cut you. All right. I went to turn it over. We're going to do the other side. We're going to do this three times. You'll be able to see the color change each time. The trick is don't put heavy coating of oil on it. Just a real light coat of oil. You don't need a lot. All right. All right what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take another towel and I want to wipe off any excess that there might be in there. All right. Good. All right. Now we're going to start this up again. Turn the gas on. There we go. What's that? Get a high flame on this. Until it's blue. The trick with this is to, to move it around without burning the handle. get a little hotter first. There we go. This Bass Pro Shops uh, heater here works really good. I'll put a link down below. Now you want it to smoke a little bit, but I'm going to turn it all the way around. Make sure each all the sides are heated e equally or as close to it. This is not rocket science. 
See, it's smoking. That's what we want. I gotta be careful I don't burn that handle. Now you can see it's starting to smoke. It's turning brown. That's normal. That's exactly what we want. Beautiful. It's going to look really good. Look at that transformation right in front of your eyes. Then we'll let it down cool a little bit when this gets done. And repeat this three different times. And I bought some frozen stir fry out so we can try it out, see how it works. You don't want to do this inside the house, outside or in your garage with the door open, because the fumes are pretty, uh, the smoke is pretty tense. I do not want to burn this handle. It's as pretty as can be. There we go. The more that uh, we use the wok, the darker it gets, and the better it cooks. And if ever it rusts, no big deal. Take some steel wool, brush it out, redo this, and you're set to go. See, it's changing color beautifully. Look at the bottom now, how nice that is already. This side uh, walk has got little ridges all the way around that they machined in. It's really kind of nice so when you <coughs> put your food up on the side, it doesn't slide down. All right, that's enough for number first pass. Let's turn the gas off. Okay, we'll let that cool for a minute. Then we'll put the second coating of oil on. And I'll be right back. All right, I put the uh, second coating of oil on. And uh, let's turn this up. Till the flame gets a little blue, and it'll, it'll keep getting darker and darker. You can never hurt these pans by the amount of heat. Sometimes they say, oh, we put a medium heat on it. I put a full blast. Look at the blue flame on that. It's, of course, there's a lot of oxygen coming in from the outside. It makes it a little yellow. I'm going to wait for this to smoke a little bit before I move it around. It, gets, it needs to get a little hotter. Looking good. Mm. 
There we go, trying to heat up a little bit. This uh, Bass Pro Shops cooker here is really, it fits a uh, round bottom wok perfectly. So far, so good. Looking good. You can even use this uh, wok on an induction cooker. They work very well. Especially since it has a flat uh, top, bottom right top now because they flipped it upside down. Ooh, that's hot. All right, we'll cut this one off now. Let it cool a little bit, and I'll put another coating of oil on it, and uh, then we'll try uh, stir frying some food in there, see how it works out. Be right back. All right, I coated it the last time now. We're gonna see how this does. It's turning beautiful, the color. It'll just keep getting darker and darker the more we use this pan. The imperfections in there, don't worry about it if it looks like if the colors are not equal all the way around. They'll all straighten out in time. Has no effect on the cooking ability of the pan. The wok. I keep calling it a wok. Or a pan. It's a wok. Wok pan. Okay, we'll let this smoke really good. I'll put another coating on the bottom too. Looking good. You gotta be careful you don't burn your hands. It does get a little hot. This uh, little burner here burns about 58,000 BTU. Your average stove, I believe, is around 2,000, 2,500 BTU, which is on the bottom marginal side of. Uh, for wok cooking, this will work, but most of your uh, professional wok restaurants, Chinese, Asian restaurants, use uh, wok burners up 200, 250,000 BTU. All right, I'm gonna turn it over for a minute. You see it's turning nice to the color of brown. Alright, I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit.
I'm going to put the handle, the wind is blowing that way, I'm going to put the handle over here so it doesn't get too hot. Just put some oil in there. Don't take long, we'll put some onions in now. Open for a little bit. All right, I'm gonna put my stir fry in. so good. Zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here. There you go. Uh, food ever sticks to the bottom. I use a uh, plastic credit card and it really cleans it off nice. I never use uh, soap in it. It looks like this is done. Let's turn my heat off. There we go. We'll put this in the plate here. Over here. There you have it. My first stir fry. <laughs>